I just wanted to go through a few things on the purpose of a lower expander of the type we use, how to turn it, and what do we expect to see from a, from a good patient. So first of all, I'd like to show you how to turn the appliance. So if you take, if you take this key, put it in that, that little hole, and then just push it backwards like that, that's one turn, okay? And what happens, the screw continues to expand and we help make a little bit more room for the teeth that are coming in. So let's take a look at one of our star patients here, Brooks, and this is his x-ray and you could look and see that there's not quite enough room for those teeth to come in, okay? So I wanna show you what happens when a good patient turns, the, turns his key. So I'm going to put these gloves on here and we're going to take a look inside and Brooks open real big and you can see now, see the, the space in between there? We've got enough room for all those permanent teeth that have come in. These four teeth are now in and he's made a lot of room for us. Okay. So I want to uh, let you have an opportunity to ask Brooks a few questions. Um, one of the questions Brooks, um, did it hurt? Yes. It did hurt a little bit. Okay. How long did it take to get used to it? Like six days or something. Six days, and then after that, did you know that you had it in or not? Mm -hmm. You still did? Okay. Could you tell that it made a lot of room? Mm. Okay. And who turned your appliance for you? My dad. Your dad. So we're going to ask dad a couple questions. What was it? Was it hard to turn or easy to turn? Pretty easy to turn. Pretty easy to turn. Yeah. Okay, and he was a good, good sport about it. Pretty good sport. Okay, well, we're real proud of Brooks. He did a great job for us, and uh, hopefully, uh, we want to try to do the minimum uh, at the beginning that'll have the maximum benefit later. And uh, we're real proud. Good job today.